Hey guys, Genesis here, and today I will be showing you how to make a chalkboard. Woohoo! Lately I've been seeing around um, magazines, Pinterest, Facebook, YouTube, all these people who embrace their inner artist and create chalkboards out of either picture frames, kitchen cabinets, and I said, you know what, Genesis, you have this poor piece of furniture laying around in your office. Why not give it a little facelift and revamp it, upcycle, and show all your friends on YouTube how to create your own chalkboard piece. So I hope that this video will inspire you to look around your house and maybe give an uplift to that old frame that is sitting around. Maybe paint your closet doors, let your kids doodle around just for a little bit. It is very inexpensive. It's really awesome to make. Dries up really fast, actually. And that inner artist create something that will make you very proud. First of all, it will make you very proud because I am super proud of this. I didn't think it was gonna look this awesome. I will show you in this video the before and after and you're gonna be like, no way, that's the same one? Yes, indeed it is. So you can leave me a comment down below and letting me know what you will use the chalkboard paint to transform. So without saying any more than I already have said. Go out there, make your own chalkboard, and can't wait to hear from you. Bye guys! Materials needed. Acrylic paint. Baking soda. A sponge brush. A disposable container. And a disposable spoon. And now for the real fun to begin. First, you'll be pouring in the chosen color of acrylic paint. I chose black. For the mix that I here did, I did a one to one ratio. One fourth of acrylic paint to one teaspoon of baking soda. Now pour in the teaspoon of baking soda, but please make sure you're working on the surface that it's okay to stain. Wouldn't want you to get into trouble. Next, mix and stir the acrylic paint with the baking soda. This process should only take about 10 seconds or so. Hey! And now moving on to the last and final step, applying the acrylic onto the surface. You'll be applying three coats and please wait at least 20 minutes in between each coating or else you'll face the risk of having clumps and it's just gonna get messy. So try to avoid that as much as possible. Last, after you have applied the third coat, wait at least four hours until you let your mind run free. Wouldn't want you to redo it over again. No need to work double. Awesome. And now we're done. Look at the final product. Doesn't it look cool? And as promised, the before and after. Ah, I just love doing this project. And as always, thanks a ton for watching my videos. I absolutely, from the bottom of my heart, appreciate every single one of you who have taken the time to watch my videos. Thank you. Want to keep up with my life on a daily? Please make sure to like Facebook, Genesis Moreno. And also follow me on Instagram, free underscore spirit underscore kitty.